Hey guys, um, wanted to do an update on my Mark 18 video, and uh, last time I posted a video it was still in pistol form, and I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I submitted my Form 1 via eForms on March 28th this year, received uh, the approval on July 31st, so a little bit over four months, not too bad at all. Um, <clears throat> so this is just a, um, again, just a quick review, a quick update, um, let you know what I've changed, what I've done to it, and how I like it. So here's a uh, quick look at it, as you can see, here's the other side. Okay, so let me just show you here real quick, um, I know I went over the parts list on the other video, but I just wanted to kind of do this again uh, for those of you who um, have not seen it, so that way I can just um, you know, give you a parts list. That way, if you have any questions about a certain part and why I chose it, feel free to ask. So obviously, the first thing that had to go was the um, SIG arm brace. I had that on there, um, obviously, while it was still in pistol form, while my Form 1 was pending. Um, I went with the uh, CTR, MacBull CTR stock. Um, I contemplated you know, going with a different stock just because I've always used CTR stocks, but then decided to just, you know, keep buying what works for me and what I like. So here it is, uh, buffer tube, buffer spring, um, or Spikes Tactical. I also have the uh, Spikes Tactical T2 buffer in there. Um, the lower is an AdCore Defense. The upper is complete. It's a Daniel Defense Mark 18 complete upper. And I'll, um, I'll go over the parts that are on it here. I've got Rainier Arms Raptor, charging handle up here, uh, Midwest Industries, I'm sorry, Troy Industries uh, rear battle site. I put in a um, Daniel Defense fixed front sight right here. Got a Surefire. This is the Mini Scout 200 lumen version. Okay, it has a, um, it's got the pressure switch, sorry, uh, brain fart. Uh, this is not the pressure switch that came with it. I, every time I, I try to do a video, I keep forgetting the part number for this. But anyway, um, it's got the uh, the momentary, and it also has the constant. The um, also obviously the upper came with a Daniel Defense uh, BCG. It has the FDE rail, which is not really FDE. It's kind of a more of a dark bronze. Take a look. Hopefully you can see it. It's a uh, sitting out back in my backyard right now and it's a bit overcast so I don't know if the if the lighting is right or not but um, anyway uh, impact weapons component this is a QD sling mount right there we've got the flash hider that came with the upper I have a XTM um, hand stop here by Macpool I took I had the XTM rails here the rail covers but um, I got rid of them uh, it was just a little bit too big, um, so I just uh, I put some regular ladder rail covers on here. I also switched out the EOTech XPS2 that I had up here. Um, EOTech is a great optic, obviously, quality optic, just wasn't for me. Went back to my old inexpensive, trusty primary arms micro dot, which is actually really great. I put it on an American Defense mount, um, and that's pretty much it. The trigger on here is a CMC three and a half pound trigger. I'm probably gonna swap this one out with the one that's in my other rifle. I've got a Geisley um, in the other one. It's just a lot smoother and I've been shooting this one a whole lot more. So I think I'm gonna swap them out. Um, I've got the, uh, let's see, the Battle Arms Development, the Ambi Safety Selector, as you can see. BCM Mod 1, mod one Grip. Uh, KNS NT roll pins and the MacBull bad lever. So that's pretty much it. I've um, I've taken this out to 50 yards um, and also out to 100. And believe it or not, I expected the um, short barrel, which is a 10.3 inch barrel, expected short barrel to have a lot of effect on point of impact between 50 and 100, and it really wasn't that bad. Um, this is surprisingly accurate for such a small, um, small short you know, short barrel rifle. So very, very impressed with it. This has become my favorite, obviously. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other rifle sitting in the safe, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the snot out of this one. But um, 
anyway guys that's pretty much it I just wanted to give you guys a quick look let you know um, about it please let me know if you have any questions I um, done a lot of research and um, <laughs> spent a lot of money to get it to where I like it um, I think it's perfect so all right that is it um, as always thank you very much for watching and please subscribe